Monday night, and it is all time for two. I'm sorry, I asked my husband uh navigates this uh screen again. You you have to get used again. to this. You, I gotta you get, really used have to to this. get used to this. Well, who is this on the line? Who is watching? I'm excited. Yes, yes. I like to have a full screen. I don't like to see myself this little. Sweetheart, I have, and you said you want me to share it, right? Uh, yeah. If you want me to share it, I have, I have to do Hi, this. everybody, as whoever's on no, the no, line. Nobody nobody knows what I'm doing. You I know them. what I, I know. So why are you telling them what I'm doing? This, <laughs> because, you, let I'm, me do the stuff behind the because scenes. Because I can't see this it, You screen. can see it. It's right there, sweetie. I just feel so small. It did. <laughs> <laughs> we are celebrating 45 years. 45? Is it 45? Oh, Jesus. 43 <laughs> Jeez, yeah, you, you're really uh, uh, nervous about this, aren't we you? We are celebrating 43 years this week. Actually, it's Thursday. And we're calling it a stay vacation. Where we staycation. Do staycation, where we stay not in the house, but stay in, in the, the area. area and do everything together in the area. Yes. Yesterday, we went to one of our favorite restaurants. Yes, which was the yard house. I love the yard house. And today we went to, um, what's the restaurant I went to? First watch. Yeah. First watch. It That's, was. That was breakfast. That I was that was, was brunch because we went like at one o'clock, and we love that place. We love that place. But we're going to be um talking about how to honor your spouse how to honor your spouse we also went to go see the places where we lived and we're going to be sharing that on thursday for our anniversary doing our anniversary dinner okay here we go what you want? um you're going to discuss what we talked about right yes okay well we're going to do that mine. all right and the topic is for tonight what is the topic for again it is how to honor your man. Oh, I mean, right. your spouse. For me, it's my man. For him, it's his wife. So how to honor your spouse. That's what we're going to be talking about today. So I don't know, Bishop, you want to start or what you want to do or, you well, know. Well, you got yours up. So you go ahead and you, you, you go ahead and pull yours up. He always want me to start. He always want me to start. That's okay. A, that's only because I don't have mine up yet. All right. How to well for me? How to honor my husband? Do you want to before this, or you just want to just, after? How to honor after uh, okay. my husband? All right. So it says here, uh, her husband is known in the gates when they sit among the elders in the land. What does that mean? When I heard that scripture, um, I guess it was talking about. Help me out here, honey. Mm -hmm. That. Uh, she shouldn't be talking too much. How did you get that out of that? I don't know because it says she he'd known in the gates. She, mm -hmm. Either she was lifting him up or talking bad about him. It didn't say. No, I think it I didn't think, say. I, 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 the husband is known in the gates, I guess, because of, of the good deeds that she does, because you got to remember, is talking about the virtuous woman. So, I mean, and all, then it list all the wonderful things that she was doing. So they that's just like, you know, wow, that's a good woman. Because they noticed everything she was doing and what you were talking about. Everybody, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm okay, because I wasn't sure. When but I guess said you that. can flip it the other way. I guess he'd be known too if she was talking about him. Yeah, so I wasn't sure but if they were talking the, about if she was talking the, bad about him or if she was honoring him, but he was known in the gates. But I guess you could take it either way. I don't know. No, okay. uh, in scriptural context, basically, it was saying she was known, he's known in the gates by. The her good, things, good deeds her she was good doing. Deeds. That's in, to take and it that in was, context. That, that was before said. that. That was. Before the Proverbs 31 woman. No, that is a Proverbs 31 that, woman. That's what I thought. So 
she was doing good things. But right. it said in the Proverbs 31 woman that the man was evidently he was taking good care of. Because ain't no way she could take care of the house, have a business, and yeah, do all but that. Again, well, I, that's an assumption. But again, that Proverb 31 is talking about what Lemuel, Lemuel's mother, was trying to tell him right, what to look that. for right. in a good woman. So right. she didn't begin to list right. those good good qualities of that woman. Right. right. And, and and because of all those wonderful qualities, her husband's known in the gates because, you know, she was out, you know, uh, going to the ships and buying all kinds of things. I know, right, 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 You know, right. buying a field. So she was in the real estate. She was a, mer a, a merchandising. She made stuff. I mean, so yes, she was out there, and people knew him by her. Okay. You know, it's just like saying, "Okay, you out there and doing that thing." Then, then, oh, that's that's Brian's wife. Okay. You got it. Mm -hmm. So you know, that's 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 what that was that was talking about. So again, so 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 we can honor our spouse by doing good things like yeah, being noticed, being a good wife, good wife, and other people because will that's see what that. Lem, that's what Lemuel's mother was trying to tell Lemuel what to look for. So other women, other people will see that. Correct. Okay, they will see that we're doing good Al things. Almost like let your light so shine that men may see okay. your good works and glorify your father. But so, let your light, let your wifely light shine so men can see your good works and glorify your husband, which is at home. Okay. All right. Okay. Is that a good right. I, 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 <laughs> I, I guess because I understand it, but my thing is, um, how I'm still looking for how you. can we how can we narrow it down to this day and time? How do you mean? How do I oh, if I'm looking at the Proverbs okay, 31 well, woman I, I guess, and that you know that your the husband is known in the gates because of his wife. So how I'm trying to bring that into modern times. Can, what would that look like modern times? Um I guess it just the overall conduct, how she conducts herself in public, mm -hmm. how she carries herself. I mean, you know, a lot of, I mean, because now take, for instance, if you was a real estate broker and you was good at it, you know, a real estate agent, you was good at it. You know, people would know you by that. So they know, they know you now by all you specifically, just if I can use that example, they know you by all the good deeds and good works that you've done in the community for the young people, for senior citizens, for weddings, for funerals. They know you for that. And because you do, that and you do an effective job at it then it would also reflect good on me okay so <laughs> you follow me so this okay. that's a good woman so that's a good woman i want to bring it home a little bit more i want to bring it i want to bring it i want to I, I hear the positive things that you're saying about what that scripture is saying about the proverbs 31 woman but in real life for most of us um that just that those of those are just getting married, those that have not been married as long. I think sometimes we are your, our husbands are known in the gates for some. I know when I first got married it was by wasn't a good thing. It wasn't a positive thing. Well, so you were going on the other side. I, I'm just saying. So we have to be careful. I hear what the scripture is saying, but we don't do we didn't we don't do what the scripture is saying. But our husbands sometimes are known in the gates because of not Negative a good thing. Not a, yes, yes, yes. Okay, you want to bring home? She's a nag. She just complains too much. Me? No, I didn't say you. I said, <laughs> I said she. You know, the wife could. You trying to pull out the negative stuff? Well, I'm trying to. In I'm, general, so yeah, that's, that, because that would be negative. How do you honor your husband if but, they're doing that? That's not honoring their husband. No, your that's husband. that's not that's dishonoring it. So I want them to see the difference in what you said before and what some people are probably doing now because i used to do it it's not I'm not talking about something that you know it's 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 foreign you know when you first get married you are definitely arguing you are definitely sometimes rolling your eyes in public you are definitely mm. saying things out your mouth in pub public so to see the difference in how you honor your husband you see the difference Everybody, y'all see the difference because you are you are looking at what you do now versus what the scripture is saying. And that's a learned something you have to learn, something you have to be conscious of. 
because when they raised that scripture, the first thing I thought about um, was what I used to do. And I'm like, yeah, he was knowing the gates from my, my mouth because I. Oh, know. okay. <laughs> okay. But now you're known in the gates for for things that are positive things. Those things that I do now, the good things that I do now. So you but I you can't know change. then. Of course, you can change because I know then that my mouth, what I was saying out of my mouth, was not honoring you. Matter of fact, it was making you look. I don't know how it was making you look bad. Be, I mean, it was making you look bad, but I don't know how. Nobody said anything. They just looked at me like I was crazy. They was like, you know. Well, they looked at me like I was crazy too, because basically is saying, you know, he didn't got no control over, you know, his his wife. You ain't got no control over. She said what you want to say. She just say whatever she want to say. <laughs> you need do. You need to straighten that up. <laughs> I mean, you know, and not understanding, you know, that that and it didn't never really bothered me because I understood my my role as a husband and as a minister of the gospel was to bring you to a place where God wanted you to be. Because remember, I said the prayer that I had was, Lord, you develop her and help her to be what you want her to be and not me. Because if I had a, if I had a done what everybody was trying to say to do, then it would have been an argument and it would have put more stress on our relationship. And we wouldn't be sitting here today celebrating 43 years of marriage if I had done what they said to do. Mm -hmm. Now, as you know, I would have been happy, but you would have been miserable if you had to stay. Mm -hmm. So, again, my mindset was the Bible sitting, and this is why I always use the scripture because the Bible says, live with your wife according, according to knowledge. To knowledge. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, I knew you. I knew how you were, but I didn't let it bother me hmm. outwardly. I didn't express anger at you. Mm -hmm. I prayed mm -hmm. and I said, Lord, you, you do something. Hmm. Because if I had done something, I would have been out of line and not presenting myself as a godly man. Right. So, so share one of yours. I, I got to find it. Oh, Keep Lord. Going. So um, going. I'll find it. I find it. I promise you. I will find so it. So here it says, check your tone. Ooh. How do you honor your spouse, your husband, with if you don't check your tone? That's just like saying stuff out your mouth, like we said earlier. Check your tone. How you say it means a lot. How you say it delivers. Uh, uh, I'm not going to say deliver, but it, 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 it puts that, making that person... Uh, either in a good place or a bad place. You can say something in a nice way and get your point across. And you can also say it in a nasty or negative way or smart way, and you won't get the results that you're looking for. Wow. So watch your tone. Now we can, I always refer back to me because that was some of the things. And every now and then now I might say something and he'll take it in a different way. And I say, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. But um, I had to step back and say it in a different way. So um, your tone, your tone says a lot, says a lot. And a, women, we can use our tone to even cut you. I mean, cut you. Sometimes we can use our eyes. Our eyes can be tones. <laughs> Wow. Sometimes we can say stuff out of our mouth and use certain words that will cut your mate straight to the heart. But then after you say it, you'd be like, oh, I didn't mean to say it like that. I didn't mean to say it like that. I didn't mean to do that. But before that, before all of this, when you first get married, trust me, you don't even say I'm sorry. You meant exactly what you said out your mouth, how you said it. Mm. And you wanted to have the reaction that that your husband had, but then sometimes we don't expect it to go to a certain level or a certain to a certain place. So you you provoking them to anger. We provoke you to anger, but we don't want you to be too angry at us. We just we just want to get our point across. But sometimes when, when when that's done, it 
it does more than get your point across. Right. It creates anger. One of these days we're gonna to have to how to diffuse an argument. When we first got married, and I used to get so angry because I used to say, "Why you gotta to go to church all the time? Mm. Why you gotta to go to church all the time?" My, my. You know, and I'm like, and and so it's not that I didn't love church. It's not that I didn't love the Lord. I wanted to spend some time with you, but my tone. Now, if I would have said it, I believe if I would have said it in a different way, that you would have gotten the message. But I said it in a way that it was like, you in this church. Mm. You in this church, you know, but that's not how I really wanted to say it, but I was angry. Mm. Um, so now I have a different tone, but yet sometimes I do end up saying something and I have to repent very quick. Well, that could be that could be with anybody. That could be with any situation at any level or stage of. So you have to constantly watch the words that you say and how you say them. You know, that's that's at any stage. It just lessens as you grow in your marriage. I found it. So you want to share one of yours? Yeah. OK. It, and basically, this is a lot based on First Peter three and, and seven, which says, likewise, ye husbands uh, dwell with them, your wife. Uh, according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel not mentally physically that's the way bodies were designed and as being heirs together of the grace of life that your prayers <clears throat> be not hindered now that's powerful that's that's really powerful all right so again what does what does it mean to honor well let's look at some ways to to show honor to your wife and it says be a man of god that that's that's being that's don't make her responsible for your life or happiness and that's what happens a lot of times is you expecting your wife to make you happy or um for your life how it goes basically your ups and your downs is dependent on what she does or how she does it um you got to really really be a man of god man of god you have to determine your commitment to the Lord, um, your devotion to the Lord, your consecration to God, because that that's going to dictate everything that you do and how you do it. Um, how you how you how you respect your wife, how you treat your wife, how you treat your family. <laughs> All of that counts when you're being a man of God. Um, seek God first. For your family uh for yourself and then for your family so again you have to get yourself straight with the lord because once you do that then it'll put you in, in line and in place in how to treat your family and i always say god first family second church local church third and the local church is not necessarily god um it's an outgrowth of your relationship with god so it shouldn't be a conflict or uh, either or you is God first, you and your relationship with the Lord, you and your relationship with um, uh, your family and then the church. So, again, it, it's all based on be a man of God. That's how you honor your wife. And she will honor you when she see the God in you. Uh, growing, developing, she'll see the God in you and you will become even more uh for some for for somebody uh somebody for her to love so that that's what it is be a man of god since you do too you want to do the second one here <laughs> it says encourage her gifts why do you keep coughing because <laughs> I, I got a drainage uh don't worry i ain't got corona y'all i got a drain <laughs> i got a drainage i got a drainage <laughs> in my throat and it's not it's not the disease all right encourage her gifts <laughs> I, I gotta say that now. You no, you don't. You can't even I'm cough. Sitting next to you. you know, you I'm can, sitting next you, to you. So what's you, what you, you say? You can't even cough in public now. Everybody looking at you. They they they. You know. Right. They they put oh, their yeah. hands over their face and you know running away from you. Uh, but anyway, encourage your gifts. That's the second one. First one. If you want to honor your wife, be a man of God. Number two, encourage her gifts. Encourage your gifts. Your wife is gifted and talented. Encourage her to pursue what God has for her through those gifts. 
Mm. And I, I said that, you know, and I asked my wife, I, well, I went over this list with her and I asked her, did I do any of these things? And she said, yes. She gave me a 90 percent on the majority of them. So I, I think that's pretty good. But anyways, encourage your gifts. I encourage her gifts. I applaud her in the things that she does for the Lord. So uh, you said things that I do for the Lord. Everything well, it, has no, to do wait, with the okay, Lord. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me. It, not only the Lord. I know that's church. That's church. Church and these. These are church lingo all the way. Church, church and these. But again, uh, even the things that you do <laughs> around the house, in the things you do with your children, your grandchildren, you you are gifted in being able to be creative in your abilities. Uh, and I won't go through a long list, but the idea is is to honor your wife by acknowledging her gifts. Believe me, the, your wife has gifts. She has talents. Um, now, you I mean, it could be something around the house. You might have a wife that, 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 that's a great household manager. You need to, you need to, you need to honor that. You, you may not be good at it. She may be good at keeping the bills. You may not be, she may be good at, at, at purchasing stuff. You may not be. She may have an eye for sales. And, you know, most of us don't don't like to shop. Mo the majority of them. Now, there's some brothers that love to shop. And, you know, uh, they just love to shop. They love to look for the bargain. Hey, I applaud that. If that's you, wonderful. Great. But I know a lot of men that don't like shopping. Don't like going into the store. That's why they have a man so, chair. So we, we need... You you need to recognize those gifts. Those are gifts and talents. When she can take when she can take what what she has and stretch it, that that's that's a talent. That's a gift. Uh, she may be gifted in writing. She may be gifted in singing. She may be gifted in 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 again. Let me go back to the creativity with with creating a family atmosphere. Encourage that, honey. I appreciate that, man. That was great. What you just did was wonderful. I love the way that you get the family together and, and you just make everybody happy. You're great at uh, uh, hosting and entertaining. So how important you is know? that? Because I that's think that's great because I you're creating a family. You're creating an environment for, right. for a happy family. Right, 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 right. And I think sometimes we focus so much on the negative things that we don't give enough of the positive things. Negative, thing. like like what i mean because sometimes we can say things out of our mouth we can we can we can horn in on the things that we don't like or you know but we never consciously make it our purpose to say i like what you did today i like that i like i, I like how you 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 put that together or i, I like how you said that I, I man i love the way you look today i mean we don't do we, we well, do those a lot good, of, that, now those are good things Yes. I like the way you said it. I love the way you look. That was, you know, those kind of things that those are little things that can go a long way at inspiring your wife. And what happens over time uh, in a relationship, if you're not cognizant of that, if you're not aware of it, if you're not conscious of it, that kind of language will die yeah. in your relationship. And you'll find yourself over time being frustrated you have to make time you have to take time to make time to do these little simple things mm -hmm. to enhance your relationship honor encourage your wife's gifts and maybe that's why the the, the wife doesn't um look as how can i say it they don't feel like dressing up they don't feel like you know, sprucing up. There's no inspiration. They, they don't. Them. Yeah, they don't feel like you know. So those encouraging doing, words would inspire. Those encouraging words will make her, you know, feel brand new. Sometimes it makes you feel brand new. You might as you know. It's and it's how you say. Wait, no, hold it. Up. So, so again, <clears throat> let me let me slip in. So that that in order for you to get, you have to initiate. Let me let me help you, husbands. And I know I know I'm gonna be a little bit hard on it. I, I'm, I'm not gonna say it's hard. I'm just giving you a suggestion. You can take it, or leave it. But again, be an initiator to inspire your wife to do what you desire her to do. Right. She may not may not be inspired to just do it. You may have to say, find something that you can encourage 
in her. I'm sure she, not she she's not completely just outright lazy, do nothing, sit around and do nothing all day. Now, if that's an issue, or she could be working or come home, you know, she could be tired true. as right. well. So, and then you want them to take their Saturday to clean up. Sometimes we got to help clean up too. I mean, you got to help clean up too. Sometimes true. you got to help. I mean, you yeah, know, and, and I do wash dishes. Right. And just like you want, you go out with me and you walk with if me. If I see dishes in the sink yeah. and I know nobody's there, I'll wash them. But you'll walk with me too. You'll wash dishes and you'll walk I with will me. Walk. You walk with now, me. Now, I'm gonna tell you now. Uh, let me, let me. Th th these kind of things encourage your gifts. Now, if you see a wife trying to do something, and you can help, and look, men are fixers. We're, we're fixers. I can fix things too. Yeah, yeah, you can. But again, you, we're fixers. <laughs> so when I mean. say that, we we automatically jump in and try to fix it, and and try to take it over and and do it our way. Sometimes you have to be a booster and supporter. Let them do what they're doing. They may not do it the way that you would do it. If you give a gentle suggestion, well, sweetheart, maybe if you do this, don't just jump in and take it over. Encourage what she's doing. Sometimes they don't jump in and take over. They just say, why you do it that way? Now we do that. I'm sorry. That's what we do. <laughs> That's what we do. Ladies, ain't this, isn't that well, what we do? But Why you do it that way? Just like Why that, you say that? A suggestion. And, and this is something I read that was interesting. I read this. Um, a lot of times what what we do as men, if you if if you ask me a question, I'm automatically giving you a solution. Because that's what I want to do. And something what I what I learned, I thought this was. I thought this was interesting because um, I thought this was interesting because. Um, hey, Teresa. Um, because Missionary, what, Teresa. What, what, what was said was, is that instead of you giving a suggestion of how you would fix it, a lot of times women don't want to hear that. They just want you to be sympathetic to what they're saying. Now. I don't know, you can help me with that. Then sometimes when you when you when you say something, mm -hmm. I automatically I will I have to keep myself from saying, well, why don't you do this? Sometimes you don't even want to hear that. No, I don't. You just want me to listen to what you're saying. So sometimes you got to learn how to have a good listening ear and wait for the ask for this for the idea. Or for the suggestion, just don't jump in and try to fix it. Just, I know, I know it's frustrating because you're sitting there saying, "If you just do this." But I think that's both. That's I'm the same way. I'm, women are the same way. We want to fix it because, matter of fact, um, we feel like y'all sometimes y'all go y'all go around the Marlboro Bush, you know, and and we're trying to just if you just look, if you just do it this way, how come for? For but see, but see, what you're doing is you're you're invading on a man's. You, you, that's an insult. Is that a, is that, that is that's, that's what no, your ego? Or it, it is. A, it's an insult because men, like I just said, men are fixers, and we like to fix it our way. And sometimes what you may suggest is not going to work. But it seems like it's the shortest way. And it, it will, now wait a minute. Now haven't way. we? Well, haven't we? It seems that. But way. haven't we said? There's that a way it, that seems right. And you but said the you were, ends but, thereof but are the saying, ways of death. But you were saying, honey, you were right. <laughs> yeah, but let me come to that conclusion. Oh, okay. But let you come a to lot, that a lot of times when you tell me something, it's not the right. It's not the right way to get to what needs to be done. Okay. So again, I mean, you know, half, you know, six in one hand, half a dozen another. It all depends on the situation. Oh, if you say so. So my says See, here. trying to say that I, my, my stuff don't work at all. And yeah, that's not true. I'm not your stuff work all the time. It depends on what it is. Well, like washing try, clothes. You, you, like washing clothes. You're trying to make them. Ooh, like washing clothes. Not We're not right. talking about hanging a picture. You do talk about hanging a picture. You're talking about ladies washing clothes. What about it? What? <laughs> My know. husband, and I don't know if anybody could testify because the simple fact that it's not something that he consciously does. Here we go. He constantly does. He's going to put, now you've done it, and I'm trying to figure out why is this faded? Faded? 
When the last time I faded, sir? No, yeah, y'all heard that. When was the last time? I'm not saying he's done it. Uh, or, uh, I'm talking about way back. I would say no. Maybe you should How do put we get this from in. Fix there? it to washing clothes. Because it's some things that's fixing it. That you're that's washing clothes. It. You are you that's are washing, washing clothes. clothes. But that's something I would say, honey. That's you should. Why is this? <laughs> What's the difference? It's not fixing. What's this? That's not fixing that. That's you washing are washing my clothes. clothes. Let's go. Test <laughs> that that don't. That don't. Well, well, help me out here. What do you mean? What do you mean? So fix it. What do you mean? I'm I'm confused because now I'm giving you a solution about a problem that you and I'm giving you a solution about the problem with washing not, those clothes. That's not. <laughs> See, this is what we're talking about. I have one. I'm, I, my mind is is thinking one way, washing and his mind is thinking. He say washing clothes. <laughs> okay. okay so, how about putting dishes so, in the dishwasher? So what, so, okay. How uh, about putting no, dishes in the dishwasher? I give it. I don't know how to. Do, <laughs> no, that's one thing I don't do, and I don't so know is how that, to do. Is that fixing and, it? And 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 <laughs> I, you know. I can't get with the dishwasher. But I'm thinking it's common sense no, because it's, not. it's like you should know no, not to do no, certain things no. and put certain things somewhere That's because, because it's not going to be clean. The reason I don't do that with the dishwasher is because I know that you and Angelita have a certain way of putting the dishes in the dishwasher. Oh, okay. So every so time it, every time I put them in, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. No matter how I it's do it. It's wrong. So I don't <laughs> I just stopped doing it. <laughs> well, why are you going to stop doing it? How come you can't say, honey, show me how to do this? Even if even if you show me how to put them you in You're going to forget. There, and I put them in there. It's still wrong. So it doesn't make a difference. So we're talking about, so. so it doesn't make a difference how I put them in there. You, 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 you're you going to say it's wrong. Oh, I'm going to say it's with wrong. With dishwasher, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're so, going to. So I don't so even bother with the dishwasher. <laughs> All right, so I'd rather uh, what I do is I will wash the dishes by hand. That's what I'll do because I know how to do that. Yes. Now I know um my argument always was when they was crying for dishwashing, everybody's washing dishes. I said, well, well, for what? I said, we if y'all crying over washing the dishes, when we get the dishwasher, you're gonna cry over who got to put the dish with dishes in the dishwasher. <laughs> so so uh, I okay, want to say I want to say, say one of the things you're, you're that too far over because you're off the camera one of the things that um i want to encourage women to do as far as how to honor your husband is to thank him thank to you say thank much. you thank you thank you because sometimes we are we we take for granted or we don't say it enough it's thank you for a man is like saying i love you to your wife that's how I see it because we're, I'm thanking you for, you know, what you did. I thank you, you know, for hey, thank you for fixing that. Thank you, right. man. You you're the smartest man in the world. Oh, thank you. I, I thank can't you stand for what she says. I, I thank you for doing that. Because I'm not the smartest man. I thank you for taking me out, man. I thank you for those flowers you brought me the other day. Yeah. Okay. I thank you for that. I, I meant to how does that make you feel when I say thank you? It makes me feel wonderful, like I did something right. Oh, wait a minute, like you did something. <laughs> so you say you don't do nothing right all the no, time? No, I'm just saying that makes me, I say, God, she liked that. Yes. I did that right. And it's how you say it, right? Yeah. I, you can say thank you, but you can say thank you. Thank you so much. Thank sweetheart. you so much, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. Thank you for giving me that glass of water. I appreciate it. <laughs> and what I really love is that um, he listens. He listens. So when I say thank you for something, he is listening, um, which means like, for instance, I was, um, I, you know, one day I was talking to my, well, just talking and I said, man, I would love to have some ice cream, mm. you know, and um, I was just talking, you know, and I wanted some ice cream and, uh, but I wanted, I wanted a certain kind. So the next day he brings ice cream and I'm like, Thank you. So he was listening. So, you know, I, I've, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate how you listen. So when your, when your husband does something good 
And sometimes when he, he's not doing everything right, there's always something you can thank him for, even if some of the things that he did that you think that was not right. For instance, um, like my husband, like he says, he says that he don't know how to put the dishes in the dishwasher, but I've seen him put dishes in the dishwasher and I'll say, well, thank you. Now I'll say, thank you. Now I'll go back around and fix it. <laughs> now I'm going to fix it but I'm going to thank him <laughs> and I'm not going to let him for, see me for, fix it for the attempt. Yes. I try. But I thank you. Yeah. I, you I know try. what? That's it's, yeah. It's, thank you for watching. It's not the, the gift. It's the thought behind it. It's, a, it's the thought the behind it. Okay. That's what they say. Sometimes okay. the thought has to be right. Okay. Don't do it out of hatred. Right. Don't do it out of hatred. It's not going to work. I got so to I put these you. dishes in this dishwasher. And then it said one thing. Then, um, I was um, uh, looking on the website of this website about how to honor your husband. It says something that I was like, wow, never really thought about it, but I kind of do it. I, I, I'm doing it now. But when I first got married in the first five years or even between, it says praise him in public. Mm. Wow. Praise him in public. Now, I've gotten kind of good at that. I would say, you yeah, know what? Have. Man, you, although I don't like all that heat on me, I know, but I really don't. I always tell when he opens the door for me, and it's like <laughs> we have this thing, right? If if he's outside, and I see a bunch of people, especially a lot of women and a lot of men, <laughs> and you know, and and I, I, he has to make sure he opens the door because what that does is show the women that there are still men out here that honor them in that way. Chivalry. And yes, and you know, and still love not chauvin chauvinistic, right? But chivalry to show them that this is how you treat a woman. And sometimes men don't see enough of that. So, so when I'm, he I'm opens the, the door, well, I open doors, and if if we if you're walking down the street, I put you on the inside. And yeah, he does, and he automatically does it, but openly and i would say well thank you i said man you you i just love you and between him <laughs> opening the door and me saying man i just love you it's like people be like oh okay all right <laughs> that makes me feel good and that makes him feel good so you you know you just praise him in public because we always are known for women are also known for with the mouth, always fussing. I mean, y'all have seen these women out in public just cussing and fussing, and, you know, at, the, at their man, you know, even when they've tried to do something. But sometimes you just have to step back and that way you won't escalate what's going on. You won't escalate what's going on. And I've been there, done that. I've been there, said stuff out my mouth. And I thank God I ain't have a man that will hit me because I think I would have oh, been... No. I, no, I think I would have been uh, punched in the face because no, some of the stuff I, I said, I, then I said, Lord, I thank you. I'm not abusive like that. It's, that doesn't matter, but neither was, um, I ain't going to say the name, one of those celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't like that either. Okay. Till, uh, did you do two? Till, uh, um, mm -hmm. You did two? Can yes. I, get, I can do my third one? You can do your third one. Respect her opinion. This is, again, oh, Lord. We're, talking, we're talking about um honoring your wife or you well for her her husband all right honoring your wife so respect her opinion respect her opinion sometimes um and and this is where you sometimes you come into a difference of opinion i'll talk about that in a minute i don't see people talking um so um, what, what happens is respect her opinion, be the kind of man that wants to know how she feels about things. So, um, you know, one of the things I've heard at times, and I've heard this from several different people is, I don't care what you think. Mm. I don't care what you think. I'm going to mm. do what I want to do anyway. Mm -hmm. That, again, if you're not going to respect her opinion, you're not going to have a listening ear. Uh, you just take that much longer because her opinion at times may the bible said there's safety in a multitude of counselors so if if her opinion is rejected you may be rejecting a potential answer to what you are troubled with 
she she's she's a, she can think too you know um and when it says weaker vessel don't mean weaker in the brain it means physically weaker so she's a thinker and um the thing is that sometimes you may have to because sometimes you know a woman thinks with not only her brain but she thinks with her emotions too so you have to take what she says if it's emotion packed and separate out the emotion and listen to what she's saying so respect the opinion you may have to shift aside the the um you may have to shift aside uh the um the feelings mm -hmm. and the emotion that she puts it out with and listen to what's being said in order to to come out with a good so um with a good answer so, again you can use all the all of what you got all the information all the input to come up with a reasonable solution so you're saying that um even though we might be emotional about what we're saying you are you are you saying that you can you can filter through all that and hear what she's you saying? have to learn how to filter through it because sometimes we hear the emotion and not the solution or idea or the opinion okay you follow what i'm saying yes so you got you got to yes. got to sift through all of that you know sometimes we just we just we just hear the emotion but we don't mm -hmm. hear the opinion or solution or idea because you may be saying it passionately and and sometimes it might like i i, I, I can't take all that mm -hmm. you know instead of listening and that is sometimes we have to because again under stress sometimes it can become difficult to hear something because you're under pressure mm -hmm. and sometimes you can't hear it mm -hmm. but that's that's that's, you know. that's good because um if a man can filter through all of the the, the emotions that we have could be very emotional especially something that we're passionate about and 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 you can filter through all that that's a lot of work uh yeah well you gotta you, you know i mean yeah. but it's good men need to have hear that that you, they have to filter that's through all, all that, that we're talking a, about being, being a man of god you gotta be prayerful you gotta be uh peaceful you gotta be uh as my father-in-law used to say gotta be wise son you gotta be wise so you gotta make sure that you use the knowledge that you have see wisdom is about using the knowledge that you have and sometimes we know things, but we don't apply them correctly or we don't time. And I always, I got a saying around my, my house. I says, timing is everything. Sometimes you don't time what you're doing or saying. Maybe the right thing at the wrong time. Um, and that's right, uh, uh, Teresa, that is right. We are help mates y'all y'all are help mates that's right uh help and we'll really the scripture says help meet right help meet the need <laughs> of whatever, whatever the situation is so again and it also says here it says respect your opinion ask about what she reads or is receiving teaching from and what she's learning so again and that's and, and you know what that draws you closer when you understand what she's reading, what she's learning, um, where she's getting her ideas from. Because again, there's safety in the multitude of counselors. She may have read something that you didn't read. She may have gotten some information that you don't have. You have to really <laughs> learn how to work as partners in this journey of life in order to um, make, make, make life happy. Because otherwise you're gonna be miserable. So you during this COVID time, you did listen to me a lot. I did and because we had to. I no, 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 no. I ain't had nobody else to listen to. <laughs> we in the house no. for a year. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the things that the Lord has blessed me and gifted me to 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 understand and know. I'm talking about the the essential oils. I'm talking oh, about yes. the food. Absolutely. I'm talking about a lot of stuff to keep us, oh, God. you know, I, I in a healthy even... place, hopefully. Oh, God. So I'm saying, so that's important. Even though you knew some things, you listened to what I had to bring to the table 
and you said okay i like that yes let's right. do that so a whole lot you know and because again because of your knowledge and your 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 studying of um a healthy lifestyle um it has helped me to maintain a healthy lifestyle um point in case a case a case in point i forget which way it goes but again take for instance when you were diagnosed with diabetes you changed the diet and the thing i told you, you said well i have to cook for me and i'll cook for you and i said no let me eat whatever you cook for yourself and i'll adjust and i did that and in doing that what happened is my my uh, borderline cholesterol numbers dropped into a normal range because I was listening to what she was doing, paying attention to how she was eating um, with a whole lot of stuff. You know, people look at her and say, well, how did you do this? How did you do that? Uh, I don't know. She did a lot of digging on her own. She's and she learned a lot and people come to her for advice now. So I took what she was doing and I made it a part of my lifestyle and it's helped me a whole lot. So listening is so important. Right. Listening to and Respecting it's not, her opinion. Right. And it's not also biblical. We know it's natural things as well because we are in this family I've together. I've given you all things that pertain unto life, life and, and godliness. Yes. So, yes. So you That's got so another good. one. I like that one yeah. right here. Yeah. Well, let me finish this. It says, ask about her and what she reads and receiving the te from teaching and what she's learning about when she gives you an opinion about something, honor it and don't demean or dismiss it. Don't count it as nothing. Hear what she's saying. Hear what she's saying. All right. Next one. It says, share your heart with her and ask her about hers. Now, a lot of times men don't want to uh, share everything that they're going through and i can get with that i understand that because again you don't want to put too much pressure because you know on your wife with a lot of what's going on i get it uh and some wives can't handle the pressure that you're under socially emotionally financially uh in your job she she can't, she can't handle everything that you're going through i get it but uh, you can share your heart about some, what you're feeling. Uh, if you um, angry about something, you can say, look, I'm really mad about X, Y, Z. Uh, because if you hold it in, what's going to happen is going to come out and she's not going to know why you're mad. I think that goes for both of us, though. That goes for both yeah, of us. Yeah, but again, a lot of men don't share what they're really going through, because again, they yeah, don't well, want, they don't want to offload on you. I don't think it's so much. And off, even even so even emotional offload? even emotional things, because men are taught you 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 can't be, uh, you know, if you show your emotions, you right. weak. Right. We was watching a men movie. don't cry. Right, because that was a movie we was watching and. The father told it was a Christian movie we was watching. Right. <clears throat> the young man went to went to jail and he was in, but he was in the court and he told his son, he says, because they were gonna send him to um to uh to a foster home, and he told him and said, looked him in his face, he said, Men don't cry. Yeah, don't you cry. And that young man went through that his whole time being in foster care not crying not showing any emotions or anything but at the end of the movie he saw his father cry he went to his father and said daddy you said men don't cry his father said i was wrong now that don't and mean that don't mean you go around boohooing on everybody's no, but the, shoulders it, but it showed him but that again you you are allowed to show emotions and that don't mean being to old. your to your to your to, to your mate right. to your your spouse you got to show and to your children sometimes your children need to know that you know you hurt and I, let me share this real quick um I, as i always say most people know that um or some may not that i was raised by uh, my father 
Right. We said, yeah, we talked uh, man, about that. A man's ambassador. relationship, yes. you know, it's a man on man relationship. Yes. My father was a corporal in the, in the army and he kind of treated um, raising me in kind of that way. So, but the thing is, I'll never forget one time we were, we actually got set out. You know, my dad tried everything, did everything he could um, to maintain a household. And thank God, you know, in the latter years, he, he didn't have that kind of difficulties. But uh, I remember never, never forget, I came home um, and I saw the furniture sitting outside on the sidewalk. And my father, I can't, you know, my father came, walked up to me because I got home before he did, walked up to me and he looked at the stuff and I could see he was broken because he had done everything he could to maintain that house. And I never forget that he embraced me and held me and hugged me uh, real tight. And that was his way of saying, he didn't say anything. He just, that was his way of saying he was sorry for allowing it to happen. That was a way of showing his emotion towards me. Uh, did he cry? No, I didn't see it. But again, I felt his pain uh, when he embraced me. So again, you know, um, I think that showing emotion at the right time uh, and then, you know, saying, you know, okay, this, this impacted me. Look, yeah, I'm sorry. Instead of just saying, oh, well, let's go. You know, he, he really, he, he understood the pain that I felt and the embarrassment I felt, uh, of seeing that stuff outside. So, so, again, so we, well, so you, you can show your emotion Now that, that strengthened me when he did that, it strengthened me, you know, it made me feel like that he cared and I wasn't there by myself. You know, because sometimes in a situation like that, you know, if, if you're hardcore, you know, you, you feel like, OK, well, I got to suck it up and do all by, I'm by myself and doing this. Nobody's helping me with it. But again, that does help showing that. kind. So of how does that help? How does that help you in our marriage? I mean, so I mean, it shows that it's, it, it's OK to express an emotion of hurt, disappointment, you know, of, um, you know, whatever you might be going through. That's natural side of it, you know. So, so do you think your your wife should never see you cry? Should have never seen you cry? Do we never see a man cry? Uh, I mean, it depends on the circumstance, you know. I mean, yeah, you know. I mean, if if he's going through, and I know a lot of men don't may not get with this, but you know, if something really and see this is this goes to the closeness because again, some men won't do it because they feel that their wife won't respect them. And now they, they feel like maybe they might tell their friends. Right. Because, so again, you know, that, that comes with the trust level right. between uh, the husband and wife. Mm -hmm. that, that comes with that trust level that you have. And one thing that I've always said throughout life and uh, throughout our marriage is that my wife is my best friend. Now, a lot of brothers may not say that, don't want to say that. But she is. This is my best friend. I can share anything with her. If I can't share with her, I can't share with anybody. Period. If it's that, if it's that intimate, then something I feel is is um, off scale. If you can't share with yeah, your wife, yeah, you can't share what you now. Your now, most if, it's, it's, if, it's, it's, yeah. if it's if it's if it's really something, now hear me closely. Now, if it's something that may be um, between you and the Lord that y'all got to straighten this out, you know, then, then you got to straighten it out um, between you and the Lord. Then do that. Uh, if you feel that it's going to, if she may can't handle it. So again, and I don't mean infidelity because if you're out there getting out on your wife, that's a, that's wrong altogether. You need to go get some professional help. And let me make that clear. That don't mean keeping your affair away from your wife. Because if you slip dipping and dodging and getting out on your wife, that's sin. Because God will find you out with that. So don't take me, don't take me the wrong way. You know, and that's wrong. But again, uh, you, you you know, for take for instance, uh, maybe uh, something that may be going on, I don't know, on the job that you know, you just don't, that may be irking you to no end, but you may not feel that she can handle it. 
So, you know, at that point or but that stage. You're saying some good things, but the wife got to hear what you're saying because what you're saying, ladies, do you hear what he's saying? So that means we got to hear. We got to listen. And not when try, you bring and it not to, try us. to, because if you try to step in and tell him what to do in a situation that you have no idea about other than what he's expressing in his emotion, you can't, she could, she could really never tell me when I was on my job going through all the racism that I was going through at, at my job and some of the things I went through, it would have just, um, she, it was nothing she could really do about it. Well, I could have said, baby, it's going to be all right though. Yeah, but that you wouldn't, that, I wouldn't want to hear that. I wouldn't want to hear that. So again, it's just, that's a company you don't, you don't uh, let me deal with it until I, until I feel that I got a grip on it. Then I can share it, you know, cause uh, you know, I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying anyway. He must got a lot of secrets, y'all. No, I know. I'm about to say, what, what, what else do you, what, what you else? Know, what what, what secrets I got? There was, there was no bunch of secrets. I mean, everything that, that happened on the job, you know about it. You know, a lot of you. Know but I knew about, about the racism. Yeah, you did. But, you, I, you, but you I, didn't, I didn't come home and just whine about, you know, what was no. going on about it. I just, I just, you know, I told you at the right time. I told you the wrong time. Because mm -hmm. I probably would have got angry, right? Yeah. Because you wouldn't be able to handle it. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't be able to handle it. But yeah, that's. um, And also, ladies, we want to say that I want to say is that after everything that he just said, and all the stuff that he's expressed, because you notice he was saying oh, a well, lot tonight. Here, let, let <clears throat> I notice he was saying a lot tonight here. that we not only have to uh, hear right what he's here. saying, but I, I hear what he's saying. See, this is this is this is this is my husband. I just love him because he need to finish his thought. Go ahead. Well, it says pay Because he's old. He's gonna forget. It says pay. <laughs> I'm not old. <laughs> It says, pay attention to the condition of your wife's heart <clears throat> by asking her important questions. So you got to pay attention to her. You got to understand your wife. I'm done. <laughs> and important questions, huh? I'm done. What would be an important question? Uh, you just have to determine at the time it comes up. Yeah. I can't really tag it right now, but you know, you have to figure out when it when it happens. That uh, I have to answer with an important question. What no, does that say? It says. It says you, 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 it says, uh, pay attention to the to the condition of your wife's heart by asking her important questions. Oh, so you're going to ask me the yeah. important questions? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were saying that I have to ask you those important questions. No. I'd like to. What would be the no, question? Because no. mm -mm. again, I, I said, I said, <clears throat> when you when you when you digging, sometimes see, you got to understand where the man's heart is at. You know, I, 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 yeah. So let's go back to when you said, uh, uh, for you to some of the things that you want to express to your wife. Remember a young lady was telling us that her husband came home and said that there was this lady on her job that had on this nice red dress. She didn't get mad. She didn't get upset. She just, he, she, she asked him, said, well, what did the dress look like? Did she put on a red dress? She put, remember, remember she went and brought that red dress. Put your red dress How on. How many mama. of us? That is creative. We're going out tonight. But that was so creative. Instead of us getting mad, we find ways to be creative. You know what I'm saying? Because men My are tempted. My question was, how did he respond with her? With he, but no, that's what he was saying. He came. He liked the way she looked at it. Looked in the dress. So some of the women would say, well, what does, you know, yeah, uh, also. No, it's not because... <laughs> He he was expressing to him because she he liked the way she looked at it. Okay. So he came home and expressed to his wife that I saw this young lady at, at my job that had this nice red dress on. She could have uh, drilled him. Oh, you like the way she looked? Oh, so you like that dress? She didn't say any of that. That's what I'm trying to say. We need to be creative. We always jump to conclusions. And I hear what you said, suspect. I'm just, just saying. I'm just joking. Oh, I'm just saying that she handled that well. Okay, so she got her. She red yes, she handled that. She heard him. Okay. That's what I'm saying. She heard. She heard him. Okay, I got you. You know. So what was he supposed to say, man? She looked good in that dress. I was tempted. That what she was supposed to. Is that what you wanted? Is that no. what? 
So I, ho I hope he would. No, but I'm just saying he. I thought that was nice. But he just said she looked good in it. She looked good in it. So she said, "Oh, okay. Guess what? I look even better." Now, now if 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 so, lot, she if felt a, that she could look uh, even wow. better. Wow. So if a, if a lot of husbands said that to their wives, boy, that'd be an argument. I'm just saying, but I thought that was really, but that's the problem. Oh, you like the way she That's looked. the problem. So he can't really tell her how her heart. Mm. So that's the problem. He really can't tell her. Mm. That's right. You really can't tell so her that, because that, so she's there's, not going so to receive it So there's an issue right. with the relationship. Yeah, I mean, but we're forever jealousy. learning. Well, I, I can't, I'm not going to say jealousy. I'm not going to say jealousy. I'm not going to say jealousy. I think she's just, she, you know, she. Just she, mad because he said that about her. She haven't, grown, she haven't got to the place where she can accept could, that. right that she something we're sometimes not got to the point where we're grown enough to accept what our husband have to say to us we want it but we ain't ready so you know and, and so but that's so, that i thought that so, was a great relationship that's a great relationship she heard him mm -hmm. she he did not have to say she looked good in it he, she heard him one of these days got to have a show about you know how a man can see and not look <clears throat> but anyway well, a man can see, and I can stand not look, but you still saw it, and I'm quite sure you, you can look. describe it. Didn't look. That's, uh, that's just, I, don't, yeah. I don't know. No, yeah. But yeah, so you, you how do you know. honor? How do you honor your your it's husbands? Oh, it's late. It's nine twelve. We got to go. I didn't realize it was that late. It's we so just, nice we've we had this time. Yeah, I know. We just like like we're in the living room. Yes. You know. Uh, so look, all right, everybody on here, I need y'all to do me a favor. Teresa says, uh, we have to be secure with self for us to respond that way. I agree. I agree. You have to be secure with yourself. And that's a good that's point. Good. But also, secure Teresa. Secure with yourself and your relationship. Right. But also, Teresa. I also believe that your husbands can get you to the point where you are secure. Right. That's why all those things matter. That's why you say, oh, you look good. Oh, so he, he, he makes you feel good. He makes you feel confident. And I know that, you know, we go, we pray, we do this, but God put families, husband and wives together for a reason. You know, to build each other up, to show them this is what the church looks like. Mm -hmm. So as we encourage one another, we grow. Mm -hmm. So yes, I do agree, and and that's so important. That is important. You are right. We have to be secure yeah. with ourselves, but you can help me be secure. That's right. You can help me be secure. So I want some opinions. I don't know who's I, who's. I, I didn't go through. Well, you'll be all right. Yeah. Um, oh, he's wow. got you know my husband. He has twenty questions, and I only have five. It's 13. It's oh, you 20. have 13. 13. Oh, he had five. <laughs> I have a lot of ways to honor the Yes, he, he has a lot of ways. Yeah, just like you said, there were five. Um, we had five when we talked about um husbands obey, I mean wives. Oh, yeah, yeah, yourself. yeah. The wife in, in, the, in the we only had three scriptures. They only had five. three scriptures and women. And you, had, yeah, right. and you had that's, five. That's a total of eight. Right. So, so we only beginning. had three. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, I this is the fun part. So today I went to go see a parent. Oh, God. I want a, I want a parent. Had I me want... looking going to a stinky bird shop. <laughs> the place, I mean, I had my mask it did, on. It did smell bad. And it was stinking in there. Yes, but the bird told like, said like, to Bishop, he said, hello. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't stinky. It was stank. But I want a parent cake. So. I know some people are going to watch this later, and hopefully they watch it to the end. So I need everybody to say, "Get her a bird." Oh no! <laughs> Let her have a bird. When they All said right. ten thousand dollars, no. oh, we're not buying no ten thousand dollar bird. Okay, six thousand. We're not buying a six thousand dollar bird. Four thousand. We're not buying a four thousand dollar bird. <laughs> we're not buying that kind of bird. Amen. She just but hit I, me on my leg. I need a bird. I need a bird that says, when y'all walk in the door, somebody come and visit us. I need a bird that says, hello, praise the Lord. Do you know Jesus Christ? <laughs> we're going we're gonna to have a witness. Say. We'll have say. a witness in the bird. Amen. Amen. Say. But we thank everyone for um, sharing, sharing our time for two. Yes. Bishop is going to pray us out. Yes. Yes. And we thank God. We will see y'all. We're going to be on tomorrow night for just a minute because we're going to y'all going to celebrate 43 years with us. 
And Thursday night, Bishop, he got the, he got, he, he did the dinner. He did the dinner. We'll pop on one another, but I'm going to eat mine because huh? I know it's going to be good. Okay. So he, but he, he took care of the dinner. I so did. we're going to see how it turn out, y'all. We're going to see. We're going to be online. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you the truth. <laughs> Go ahead, Let's pray. Bishop. Father, in Jesus' name, dear thank Lord, you, we Father. thank you for this time of sharing tonight. I pray, Lord God, that those who listen and watch, those that popped on and popped off, Father, I pray that you would bless them, Lord God, that it would help couples, Lord God, learn how to honor their spouse. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for the time of sharing. We thank you, Lord God, for these 43 years my wife and I have been together, that you kept us together. Lord, we ask you. You, Lord, use our witness to help somebody else. Father, we thank you tonight for all that you've done, all that you will do, all that you're doing. In Jesus' precious name, amen. God bless y'all. Y'all have a great night. See you next time. All right. I believe in love. I believe in trust. Turn.